Lexington's Urban County Council is facing a new challenge after a judge prohibited one of its members from attending meetings in person. Councilwoman Denise Gray has a protective order in place against fellow council member Brenda Monaris. Allie Root explains how the city government is learning to navigate the situation in our top story at 10. In a court hearing Tuesday morning, Judge Tracy Brislin ordered Councilwoman Brenda Menares to work from home, meaning she cannot go into the office where Councilwoman Denise Gray also works. But Menares is allowed to attend council meetings virtually. She was not allowed to attend Tuesday's meetings because the public wasn't given 24 hours notice of the ruling. Lawyers representing Gray say these changes are important to her because she's afraid of Menares. She has indicated to me that um, there are other individuals that have had similar issues and she's very afraid um, that the behavior will continue. She is relieved by the fact that that order continues to be in place and in fact was strengthened this morning to make sure that her workplace is a safe place for her to continue doing her public work representing her constituents. On August 8th, Gray filed a protective order against Menares. Court documents claim that Menares made unwanted sexual contact with Gray on two occasions dating back to October 2021. No criminal charges have been filed. The amended order now prohibits Menares from coming within 500 feet from Gray as well as her home and work. Place. Emma Curtis, who is set to face Menares in the November election, says the incumbent's alleged actions have no place here. They're horrifying. They're difficult to read. I can't imagine having something like that made public. Uh, and at the same time, she's put herself in a position where the 4th District no longer has a council member who's legally allowed to enter a council meeting here at Government Center. Curtis also notes that this should serve as a wake-up call for the city government. We don't have a binding code of ethics for our council. And I think that's something that we need to be looking into. How can we prevent situations like this from occurring in the future? The next hearing is scheduled for October 16th. Edward Cooley, an attorney for Menares, says they look forward to telling their side of the story then and that the amendments made could help prevent, quote, false allegations or any further allegations that may or may not be true. In Lexington, Allie Root, Fox 56 News.